So let's say you're working on a project in MuseScore and you would like to add measure numbers. You want to be working on your score, so make sure you have your score tab clicked here on the top left. And then what we're going to do is go up to Format and Style. So once you go to Format and Style, it will bring up the style settings here. I'm going to drag this down a bit. And what you're going to look for is you're looking for the style here that says measure numbers. So you're going to look for measure numbers and it will give you your settings for your measure numbers for your piece. So I have this clicked, but you'll notice that it's not showing any measure numbers right now. And so what I need to do is change some of these settings. So the first option here is to show first. So that means show first measure. So you can see there's the one on top of the first measure. If I were to click on all staves, that will show the measure numbers for the base clef here. For this piece, I do not want that. So I will unclick all staves. So now what I need to do is look at this every system or interval. So right now, what it's going to do is add a measure number every five uh, bars. So I'd have to click that. So let me click this. And so now I've got an interval of every five measures. You can see I have measure one and then measure six. So now I'm going to lower this so that it will show all of the numbers for all of the piece. So now I've got interval every two measures, right? So I actually want it every one measure. Good. So now this shows a measure number for every measure. So that is the setting you want for every measure. And then now we can work with more advanced settings, which is where to place the number. So let's say if I want it above or below, I can have it below the staff if I want. Typically it's above, so I'm gonna keep it there. Horizontal placement, I can have that left center. I could put the measure number in the center or I could put the measure number to the right. I'm gonna leave that to the left justification there. And then now this is where you might need to fine tune, especially if you have certain elements that are conflicting or blocking the measure numbers. So this was where you change the position. So typically it's the position uh, to up and down the Y axis here. So if I press this down, it's going to go up here. So I have a negative number, so it's going up. So you can see that will be very helpful. If you need to make the numbers higher on the score, that's the setting right there. So the position above, you can play with these arrows and then put the numbers where you would like them. And then you've got the X axis similar to what we were doing before. It puts it left to right a little bit. And then you have the position below settings. This is if you have that uh, position below the staff. So that's where those settings are. I'm going to pull this up so you can see some more settings. So they have some other things here like show measure range at multi-measure rests. Uh, and then this is for multi-measure rests. I have another video on showing how to do multi-measure rests. And then once you're happy with this, you press OK. And you now have measure numbers on the music that you're creating in MuseScore 4. If you made it this far into the video, you most likely are interested in getting the most out of MuseScore 4. I made a complete beginner's video that covers everything you need to do to get started. I'll put a link to that video here.